I felt like you could walk down one street and you hear like a really gangsters rap song and then the next street someone's doing like Cambodian karaoke. It's a mecca of music in that sense. I've never really felt like I had to pick whether I was going to be a punk rocker kid or whether I needed to be a rave kid. You could just do whatever you want, kind of. Because everyone else is kind of weird too, you know? Town of weirdos. Once I started getting into music, that's when I started to kind of find my own identity as a person. I feel like music kind of hit me out of left field and I never really looked back. I was like 12 or 13 at the time. I just remember watching a live performance of the Red Hot Chili Peppers and I remember seeing John Frusciante playing guitar. I was listening to a lot of like Dr. Dre, you know, like Eminem and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, I saw this live performance. And I don't know, it was just like, hey, man, I think I should play guitar. I want to sound like that. Things have often changed. I'll come back, I'll come back to remind you. I feel like this day and age, if you really want to be an artist and stuff, you really got to, like, you just have to go all in, go 100. There's kind of like a blue collar sense of being a musician and you're just really another person in the trenches working with people. Sometimes I do feel more comfortable singing in Spanish. That's my culture, like no one could really judge me for that, you know? I didn't try to meet up, don't know how it's true. I'm just trying to write songs and I feel like if I died tomorrow, I'd be happy, you know, like, like I would die happy. Mm -hmm. 